Today we're going to go with Joe and see what happened to this really sweet client of ours who tried to do something nice for his wife while she was sleeping. She was sleeping when I hit that pipe. Oh no! Yeah. This is what our client did. Can you imagine his surprise when that happened and the mess that this made in his kitchen floor? So that could have been a very unpleasant wake up call. Oh yeah. Yeah, it could have been knee deep. No kidding. In today's video, we're going to show you what our client did temporarily to repair his hole in his water pipe. We're also going to show you another popular homeowner friendly way to repair your hole in your water pipe. But before we do that, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. Give us a thumbs up. And then we're going to see what Joe did permanently to get the water pipe repaired. So is everything kind of drained down or do you know? It's drained down at least past that hole. Okay. That's all I know. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Renee and I want to take just a minute and show you a uh, close up what the homeowner did to try to get that repaired. So you can buy the little uh, rubber and sheets like that. So you just cut out a little piece of the sheet rubber, just enough to go over the hole. And then you will um, take your hose clamp and wind it out till you can actually peel it apart all the way. So you be able to get it apart like that and just throw your sheet rubber over the hole and then you will get your hose clamp over that sheet rubber and get the screw started back into the band just get it you know where it's going to go back together for you and wind it down um, we're going to leave a link in the description so if this does happen to you, you can get your water turned off, uh, how to turn off your water at the meter. And in a few minutes, we are gonna talk about a different way to fix this. But all you, that's just pretty much really simple to do this. Um, you just wind that down until it's tight. And that's pretty much all there is to it. I got a bunch of towels too, if you need it. I think they've dried off from last night. Yeah, I just like to, you know, keep the moisture down as much sure. as possible. Me too. I was thinking, well, you know, it's got a cabinet back on this thing, so. Right. Yeah. And then there's drywall, so it's, if anything's going to hurt the drywall, and it'll dry. Yeah. Got up this morning. And this is there. Yeah, the valve's probably not 100%, you know. Oh, down out there? Okay. I can't go down to the, to the street. No, we're fine. Okay. Yeah, and actually that press that we're gonna use um, doesn't yeah. care how much water's in the line. As long okay. as we get that joint clean, we could press that wow. together. I have a quick question for all the trades people that are watching this. And that is, how do you guys feel about having a person watching you work up close like this. I myself do occasionally find it a little unsettling and I guess that's because I just really want to do a great job for people. You know, don't get me wrong, I definitely can appreciate the fact that people love to watch us work. Um, either they're really curious about what we're doing there in their home or, you know, they just want to learn so they can help themselves in the future and on that point let's go ahead and take a look at the second repair uh, that you can make to temporarily plug one of these little holes okay this is the other repair that people will attempt from time to time they'll take a little screw and a little washer and just you know put the washer on the screw head and just run it in the hole you gotta be super careful not to over tighten this. You get kind of a one shot deal right here. If you over tighten that screw and strip it, it's not even gonna have a chance and it will even leak really bad in a temporary condition. Um, 
Let's see if we can get this thing started in here. You do want a screw that's a little oversized, you know, larger than your hole. Um, if you guys can think of any other repairs like this that make a little temporary fix that actually work, we would love to know about that in the comments. Or maybe tell us some crazy things that you've seen that haven't worked. That Renee and I have seen people put radiator hoses over pipe and all kind of different contraptions and some really not healthy things but we're just kind of curious as to what you've seen and we're going to show you how joe actually permanently repaired the pipe so right after i get this hook wrestled out you're going to see me pick up a screwdriver and get those nail heads holding that board in um you know get them uncovered where I can get that cat's paw in there and pull them out. Um, that, <laughs> that's what we call that tool around here. I, I know the appropriate name is uh, definitely a nail puller. And then the thing we're going to do after that is get that line cut. And we're going to cut that line right on the hole that he made so we can get the reamer in there and, you know, uh, get ourselves a coupling slipped up and down the line and then pull it back and press it. I um, mean, you'll notice, you know, earlier that I'd already had this line sanded off. I kind of like to do that before I cut it in case there's a lot of water in the line. Um, when you're trying to run that sandpaper back and forth and there's water all over the exterior of the line, you want it splattering all over the place and making a huge mess. So if we can avoid that, uh, you know, we do. And I'm going to make some pencil lines right here and slip that coupling up and then slide it back down right here and we're going to take that press in right after that and press it up and that's going to have him all fixed up oh nice yeah, now I want to... they are super nifty Milwaukee. Hopefully you're loving these Go With Joe videos we've been doing here lately. And if so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much for watching.